the back end code is on java and yeah. other than that uh, other than that in our technology uh, technological uh, stat we are actually using docker we are actually using uh, spring boot microservice here uh, spring boot application and we are for uh, building and testing purpose we are actually using docker docker container and uh, yeah. for no sql i have told you like uh, i have uh, expert, i know about the mongodb and some part of i know about the dynamo aws dynamodb as well uh, because uh, previously there is a poc uh, we have done uh, before coming into microservice on that spring boot microservice we are actually uh, done a poc on vertex solution uh, using like uh, aws dynamodb and like aws kinesis uh, like that and now we are actually uh, using spring boot application now we are uh, here using mongodb for uh, noise cool database and apart from that for inter service communication we are using kafka here and uh, apart from that uh, for unit testing we are using junit and that mockito framework and mm -hmm. along with that uh, for building the pipeline we are using jenkins uh, jenkins here and yeah. Um, yeah that's actually uh, that's actually it um. mm -hmm. mm, that's good mm. actually mm, uh, i can see you have expertise on microservice right yes uh actually we are looking for some resource on microservice spring boot microservice yeah so you have uh, you have also knowledge on jpa yeah jpa jpa repository you uh, we have actually used mm -hmm. okay yeah so i'm ending it i'm uh, i'm just uh, passing it to pradut we will have a technical discussion with you okay okay Pradut, you can. Oh, sorry, Pradut. Hello. I think it was not much amount. Hello. Okay, okay. Sorry, okay. man. It's okay. Yeah. So, at beginning the uh, introduction, so we can just uh, proceed with the technical discussion with you. Okay. Okay. He has an experience in microservice as well as JPA along with Java. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes, uh, Raina? Yeah, hi, hi, Pradhu. Uh, yes, hi. Uh, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Oh, okay, nice. Uh, I'm fine. Okay, okay. so uh, let's we can uh, start our technical discussion. Okay. Uh, I think you have two years of experience in microservice, right? Yes. So, um, can you explain uh, your uh,
basically our project is basically a retail uh, retail domain uh, we are actually working for jd williams that is a uk based uh, retail uh, retail account uh, mm -hmm. so uh, they are having like uh, Mean I am into a uh, products, but so basically we are actually dealing with uh, saving of the uh, saving of the base product, saving of the SKU product, saving of the catalogs and all, uh, and also uh, save some uh, grouping rule based on some business logic. Grouping rule means you are uh, grouping uh, two or multiple multiple product together. Uh, by business logic, uh, let's say uh, the CPT name is same, so we are grouping uh, grouping those uh, like that, uh, and also. Uh, also for the recent implementation i have done uh, that is like that basically uh, we are uh, saving the data saving the base product let's say the base product has some uh, in incorrect value right uh, let's say base product doesn't have the hero image okay and so at that time uh, what we are doing we are actually uh, saving that data i mean saving that base product into our into our table but uh, there is one attribute that that is the, the active is equal to false okay so we are making those product as inactive basically because the uh, because there is some uh, problem in the data okay the data that has come and so what we are doing basically what uh, there is one airflow airflow actually uh, the tag is running and the tag is populating some data and those data we are actually getting we are actually getting here and we are processing those data and uh, we are actually saving that into our DB. Okay, so uh, so we have made one uh, logic that is like uh, we are making one more document to save the inactive product details because previously uh, there is a bad uh, bad implementation uh, I have done. Like uh, we actually uh, there is a millions of record in the database, right? And by performing just uh, just like uh, fine fine operation uh, with uh, with a attribute with the active attribute there is actually mm -hmm. taking lots of time so what we done here we are actually using the lock lock facility here that we are actually uh, locking that means one thread is actually locking that uh, performs the gate operation that actually which uh, fetches all the inactive inactive document and saving that uh, saving that uh, base product number in that in that document let's say it is inactive then we are actually saving it is uh, then another feed came uh, with that product that that actually have the like hero image that is now active so we are, we are then removing the data from the uh, from the from the document so that part we have done using using lock because of the multi threading issue that we are facing um, on that so that part we have done uh, recently very recent project also. Okay, uh, are you working uh, uh, front end part also? Sorry? Uh, are you working as a full stack? Uh, no, 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 actually not full stack, only only okay. the back end, back end developer I am. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, in microservice, uh, okay, uh, so there have some APIs, am I right? Okay. So, how uh, that is, uh, API? Uh, sorry, how? how? Suppose you have written one API, okay? Okay. So after writing that, uh, how uh, you are uh, uh, accessing that API? Okay. Uh, let's say uh, I have one API. I mean, you are actually calling one service, right? Uh, there is a whole whole service, and that is uh, we are calling from it from another service, right? That you are asking? Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, here we have the let's say uh, two services there, service A and service B. From service A, I want to call the service B. So what we are using here, we are uh, actually have that uh, REST template in uh, in our Spring application. So we are calling that uh, within the REST template get for the get for the object, and we are actually passing the URI and along with along with the information that need that endpoint of service B. Okay, so. Uh, that is the that is a simple simplest way uh, that how we are actually calling one service to another service. Well, now that call is actually done by the API gateway here. So we have like one another another service that is the API gateway. What actually API gateway does? It actually stores all the information of the service with the load balancer and all the uh, application name of that uh, Spring of that 
of that of that service so what we are calling from api uh, from service a we are actually load